Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for um, Scorpio. This is going to be for your December 2023. You'll apply to any of your placements. We're going to take a look and see uh, what your over energies are, what's around you guys when, when it comes to December, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, uh, Scorpio people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about, um, tell me about, um, Scorpio, over energies for Scorpio, energy check-in for Scorpio for, um, December 2023 for Scorpio, for Scorpio. So we have a two of cups and a six of pentacles. Okay. There is a situation, there's a union where I feel like you're giving a lot of energy to. I do feel like there is harmony. There's balance. You know, I do feel like there is equal give and take in the situation that you're in. Now, this could be romantic. This could be also in a work situation here. This could be with family and friends. Maybe there is equal give and take between like all your relationships or something like that. Okay. We have the king of pentacles and the wheel of fortune here. You know, so, um... Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So this could be indication that, you know, your luck is changing. Your fortune is changing. Some of you guys could be getting a huge payout here. Maybe you guys are getting a huge bonus when it comes to work. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the world. Seems like you guys might be achieving some sort of financial goal here or some sort of career goal. I don't know. It seems like you guys could get, be getting some sort of like maybe maybe a bonus here or something like that. But whatever is going on here, um, Scorpio, I feel like you are clear about, you know, what you want or what you're looking for or that you're clear about your path here. I do feel like the path is bringing in a lot of happiness here at this time, a lot of fulfillment, okay? Leo energy with the sun card, king of pentacles, and the ten of, wow. I mean, this is quite an awesome read here. We have the ten of pentacles here and the wheel of fortune. So yeah, so I feel like your fortune's changing. Everything that you have dreamed of is coming in for you or, or it's coming together for you here, um, Scorpio. The ten of pentacles and the seven of cups. The uh, uh, seven of... Uh, no, the Seven of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. The Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. The World and the Chariot here. This is something that you fought really hard for. And I feel like there's a sense of forward movement that's happening here. There's a sense of achieve, achievement here. You, you know what I mean? So, you know, I do feel like... Yeah, everything that you dreamed of, everything that you have fantasized about, I feel like it's really coming together here for you, uh, uh, Scorpio. So I feel like this is looking really, really, really great. Like I said, your fortune's changing. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really show here. Some of you guys could be getting some sort of promotion here or something like that too. But whatever this is, this is leading down a road of happiness, a sense of achieving something or a sense of accomplishing something here because there's some sort of career goal that you wanted to achieve and it's happening. What else do we have for Scorpio? What does a Scorpio need to know? Look out for or work on for December 2023 for Scorpio. I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, the relationship that you're in, you guys are reaching the goals that you want here, okay? Or that you're achieving the goals. I mean, this could be also in friendships. This could be in family, you know, creating harmony. You're creating balance here. We have the strength card, Leo energy, and the five of pentacles, okay? So what we have here is I feel like, you know, perhaps, you know, if you guys have been dealing with any sort of financial scarcity, you guys are overcoming that. Okay, uh, some of you guys could be going through like a huge lifestyle change here too with the strength card or that people are finding you attractive or that you're glowing because maybe this is all happening. It's giving you or uh, giving you that confidence or that you're rating some sort of uh, uh, energy. Uh, yeah, you're giving, you're putting out some sort of light energy or some sort of like happy energy here. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the Five of Swords here and the Queen of Cups. We have the Kings and Queen of Cups, okay? That's a true pair right here. 
This is interesting. With the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords here, you know, this could be an indication that you guys have, if you are in a romantic relationship here, you guys have overcame a lot of hurdles here or that you guys will overcome a lot of hurdles and obstacles here. You know, with the Hierophant here, some of you guys could be seeking some sort of help from a neutral party here, but there's something here that's going incredibly well for you. I feel like in all areas of your life, the Emperor, Aries Energy, Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like... Scorpio, for a while here, you guys have hit some sort of obstacle here that you guys are over finally overcoming. Yeah. So I feel like, uh, obviously, you know, you might be turning to the divine, the universe, you know, your guys, your angels, your ancestors, a higher power uh, to support you on this. And I feel like they have, but this is you pulling yourself out, out of this, you, you know? So I feel like, you know, the only person to think for this is obviously you, you know, you're, you're doing this. So the Hierophant, we have the Ten of Swords, tell me the King of Cups, and the Four of Swords here. Yeah, there's some sort of recovery. Something has been repaired here due to some sort of betrayal that you went through here. And it's almost like, I feel like you guys... If this is a case, if this is a romantic relationship, you guys, you guys have worked really, 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 really hard in bringing that back, this, uh, bringing this back together. You know what I mean? I feel, like, I mean, I feel like you didn't give up. Okay, I, yeah, I feel like you fought really hard. Um, you know, I feel like you guys really um, overcame, and, and I feel like you, you showed like resiliency, or like both you guys showed resiliency here. Is that a word? Resilience, okay? Um, so the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups and the Lovers here. Something is coming back together because I feel like there's something that was broken here. It, 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 it's looking more and more like a romantic situation here, but, you know, maybe this is something that you put out in the universe where, you know, something happened here and you hope that there would be some sort of change here. There would be some sort of growth, some sort of expansion here. And I feel like it's happening. And I feel like when it comes to career and finances, okay, yeah, there could be some sort of promotion or uh, a raise here, or maybe in the, a job offer that's coming in for you. That's going to kind of like bump up your pay here. But, you know, I feel like someone here is definitely getting everything that they've ever dreamed of here. And I feel like it's happening, all happening in divine timing here. We have a ton of Wands. Um, we have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, it seems like there is a situation. We have the King to Queen of Swords. We have the King to Queen of Cups here. There's something being repaired here regarding a relationship. That's what I'm getting here. There's a sense of moving forward. There's a sense of resolving issues, letting it go, and just moving on, moving forward here. So I feel like it's kind of like sort of like a done deal sort of thing. You know, you talked about it, it's over. We're never going to bring this up again. We're just going to move forward. It's been resolved, okay? So uh, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.